Hi friends, there's a quick experiment that I devised to demonstrate the properties of uh, RC piezoelectric and MEMS gyros that like all gyroscopes operate on changes in angular velocity or changes in orientation and not specifically rotation around their own axis. There seems to be this very common fallacy that gyros must somehow twist around their own axis to actually do any good and therefore it must be mounted at the um, axis of rotation they're intended to measure such as the center of gravity for yaw, pitch, and roll. What I've got here is, are two identical rate gyros mounted one at an exact pivot point and one which is approximately 14 inches or 360 centimeters away from that pivot point. Each one of those is hooked to an identical 9 gram servo the top gyro is mounted to the uh, left hand servo and the bottom gyro is connected to the right hand servo below. So you'll notice that when this lever is rotated, whether it's around the pivot point or concentric with it, it has the same effect on the servos to which they're connected. So these are the eSky EG200A rate gyros, each with the gain set the same. You'll see this entire circuit is an ordinary 12 volt LiPo hooked to a switching BEC which delivers 5 volts to this servo tester which delivers 1.5 millisecond pulse that's corresponding to the center untrimmed position of a controller stick that is split into two signals. One goes to the bottom gyro the second, by the same length of wire, goes to the top gyro, which is wired to the left-hand servo. And the bottom gyro is wired to the right-hand servo. So once again, when this arm is rotated, whether the gyro is at the pivot point or concentric with it, but having the same angular momentum or angular rotation as indicated by that arrow, which indicates the entire arm rotates, the servo action is the same. Whether it's slow, fast, to a small deflection or a large deflection, the reaction is the same. While it is not important whether the gyro is mounted at the so-called pivot point or anywhere along that axis, it is important that they are oriented on the correct plane of rotation they are intended to measure. Now just to show I haven't cheated or anything by adjusting the gain on one or the other of these gyros, you'll see that there the servos move together. What I'll do now is switch the gyros, move the top one to the bottom, so the bottom is now connected to the right servo, and now the top one will be connected to the left. And they continue to move in tandem. Now I'll switch them back. Needless to say, when the servo or when the gyro is twisted around, it certainly does have that effect, and it seems to be a pretty dramatic effect because the angle of rotation is relatively a lot for a tiny amount of hand motion. Let's go ahead and switch the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom, and the effect is preserved. The straws move together in tandem. Now as a practical application you wanted to put a gyro on an aircraft and stabilize one a particular axis of rotation, for example, let's say pitch, and you wanted to attach the uh, gyro to the uh, elevator servo, imagine that this gyro is at the center of gravity and this gyro is at the tail, and so that when the plane pitched, an equivalent amount, no matter where you mount the gyro, would have the same effect on the elevator servo. Similarly with so you wanted to stabilize yaw, and this one was at the center of gravity, and then this one was on the wingtip, no matter how much 
at yaws, both gyros will have the same effect on the servo. Um, same would apply with roll. If this was at the center of gravity and this was hypothetically at the wingtip and roll, you get the same stabilizing effect. So while it, there are a lot of other design considerations for mounting the gyro at the center of gravity for balance, for simplicity, for wiring, it is by no means mandatory that it be there if there's some other design consideration that would have you put the gyro someplace else. So again, the gyro doesn't need to twist, it only needs to change angle. Just like this entire arm, as it changes angle, so do both of the gyro's angles. Hope that's a little help.